Hi, Mr. Millard. I'm Dylan. I'm with Laker. Hi, Dylan. Nice to meet you. So, can you tell us some stuff about what you do around the school as um, a teacher? Well, I'm an architecture teacher. I also teach CAD and then Engineering Academy 9. Mm -hmm. So, how do you think you work to inspire kids on a daily basis? Um, I really try to get to know my students so that way, you know, I know what they, some of their likes and dislikes and, you know, I try to design some of my assignments around, around that so that they're interesting to them, not just, you know, the same thing over and over and so over again. So they get that participation, that enjoyment out of the classroom? I hope so, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, uh, going off of that, how does that lead you to um, inspire, like, the robotics team and lead the robotics team? Um, robotics, I've been coaching robotics for the last 12 years at West Bloomfield High School. Um, for the last four years, we've had a first team, and uh, I really like to, you know, try to show the students th their potential and show them what they can do and, and let them see what's possible. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't do it my, myself. I have assistant coaches that help out, and so, you know, that takes a little bit of the burden off of, off of me because I also sponsor two other clubs. Mm -hmm. So what's the hardest part about leading the team? Um, just keeping things going on a daily basis. I mean, sometimes, you know, you'll hit a rut and you, you don't think you can, you're actually going to get out of it. And, you know, you just got to kind of keep going. It's kind of like life. You know, if things go wrong, you can't give up. You, you have to just keep plowing through because if you, if you quit, you're, you don't know if you're going to get to the actual, you know, stuff you're going to like. Mm -hmm. so. so can you just tell us some more about, like, robotics in general and, like, what you as a club do when you're, like, early trying to... Um, robotics is a full-year club. And we meet even in the summer. I mean, we don't meet as often in the summer. But during the school year, we meet every day after school from 2 to 4 at least. And uh, that's in room 478. And um, we part participate, sorry, excuse me, participate in two different um, competitions. The first one's called OCRA, and that stands for Oakland County Competitive Robotics Association. And students build a 125-pound robot, and it's more of a remote-controlled machine because in OCRA, we use remote controls to control it. Mm -hmm. And um, we're given a different task every year, so we never know what it is. This year we were given a task of playing a game that was similar to Connect Four. Mm -hmm. And so the students build a robot that will compete in that, and then we get to compete against um, 30 other districts in Oakland County. Wow. And then the second part, which is coming up, starting on January 7th, we start first. And that's for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. That's what it stands for. And we do basically the same thing. We build another 125 pound approximately robot. Um, but this time we have an autonomous mode, which means that you have to program the robot to react to the environment for 15 seconds. And then they go into the con uh, user controller mode. Okay, that's cool. Is there anything else you'd want to say to people who might be on the fence about joining a robotics club? Um, we're always looking for new people. Um, the team's building and we're doing great this year. So it's in room 478 after school. If you just want to come in and check out what's going on, you're more than welcome. We always you know, have room for new members. So. All right. Thank you very much. Thank really you. Appreciate it. You have a good day.